so today I'm gonna show you how we can create install sheet prerequisite from scratch so till now I have shown you how we can use the install sheet prerequisite so we just need to go to this redistributable notes in this there is a list of uh, prerequisites which is coming from the folder setting available in this prerequisite option so this is coming from this uh, installed seed 2014 set setup prerequisite folder so there are few prerequisites available on this folder so that's the reason we are getting this list of prerequisites here and uh, let's say I like to install my application which needs .NET Framework 4.5 for my machine so what I will be doing I will be just uh, marking this 4.5 checked and build so this way I will be attaching my prerequisite for my application and when I will whenever I will be installing my application through this installer then first of all uh, uh, it will check whether the target machine has that 4.5 framework or not if it does not have that framework then it will pop up uh, with the information like you need to install prerequisite first so this way the prerequisite installation will happen first after that the installation of my actual application will start so you can configure prerequisite uh, via these options now let's say you want to create a prerequisite by own self because there is no any prerequisite available as of now right now right so how can you do this so for doing this firstly let's say in my scenario I what I'm do, going to do today I am just going to create a install sheet prerequisite for .NET framework 4.7.2 so as of now I have already created .NET framework 4.7.2 specific uh, prerequisite but for this time I will be just uh, creating right again with the different name right so what how to create this just to go to the tools select prerequisite editor here go to the files and click save as and here choose your directory the default directory should be same as the directory which have you configured so I have configured this folder so I am just using this one now the name would be like microsoft .NET Framework 4.7.2 Web Version Right Now I am just saving it Let me just copy the name Save it So this way uh, my blank prerequisite is ready now I will be filling or configuring this properly so first of all what I need to do is that I will be just going to the property tab here the unique quid ID is created by itself I will not be changing it this actually identifies this prerequisite uniquely within that folder now alternative location to the download PRP file so this is the place where I will be putting the URL from where the same prerequisite can be downloaded uh, so as of now I don't have any PRP for this so I'm just leaving it uh, here any description like it will install the version right now save control s come to the conditions so first uh, for now let's see you have configured your uh, prerequisite and attached to that prerequisite with your installer now let's say in you have two machines one machine does not have .NET framework version 4.7.2 and another machine has so you are expecting that when uh, you are going to install your application through this installer and that machine does not have that uh, .NET framework version then it only in that case it should prompt uh, for the installation if the machine has uh, already has that framework version then it should not ask so for that you need to write some conditions uh, 
uh, and if those conditions are true only then their prerequisite uh, invocation will start so you can write those conditions here and let me show you what kind of conditions can be created so based so first of all you need to select select the type of the condition so basically if i talk about these conditions types then there are basically three major types of conditions first conditions can be of type registry based i mean to say you can define a condition based on the registry key registry value right and second condition can be defined based on the i mean second type of condition can be defined uh, based on the file is, uh, location of file path of whatever is so based on the file now third condition can be defined based on the platform i mean to say based on the uh, operating system so let's say you want to create a condition like this installer should install the application only on window 7 or window 10 or window 7 and window 10 or or uh, window 2012 r2 also so you can configure these things for in the last options so i will be just demoing you two options first is registry specific one second is uh, operating system specific one so that you can get an idea overall how to do that right so first is my registry entry has a specified value so as you know that i am going to create the prerequisite for the dotnet framework version 4.7.2 so first of all, I need to identify whether the .NET Framework version already installed on that machine or not. So for that case, I will be just googling it and showing you how to uh, hunt it with the right information. So here is the page. How to determine how to determine which dot framework which dot framework versions are installed. So in this page there is information available and it says that if you go to this registry key then uh, you will be able to get the information of what dot framework version installed. So First of all, let me just open the machine on which I will be going to install this application through the prerequisites. Here, if this is the Windows Server 2012 R2, right? And if I go to the registry, then on the path, my computer, HK local machine, software, Microsoft, Dr. Framework setup, NDP, V4 full, the release value says that 378675. 378675, right? And if I search 75. This is for the Dr. Framework version 4.5.1 and I am going to install 4.7.2. So 4.7.2 the condition says that at least the value should be this. So I can write the condition like this. Like uh, if the target machine uh, has a value less than 461808 for that release value inside that release key, inside that registry key then only should uh, trigger the invocation of prerequisite installation right so same will be i writing in this so a registry has a specified value so my registry path is this i said release i said uh, the value should be 461808 at, at least and the data of the target message is is less than the specified data then invoke this run this prerequisite if so this is the condition right if we have given the data we have given said that data on the target machine is less than the specified data right now check the following registry location on 64 bit location is the correct right now okay now i will be adding one more uh, conditions which is for the platform specific so here i will be selecting windows system windows server 
to 7 12 r2 so if here is the condition i can configure more than one condition i mean i can configure more than one condition of the same type with this the different values so there is no harm right now saving it now in the third tab there is a file to include tab if i just go to this it says that i need a file which uh, you are going to install so basically i will be providing the uh, i will be providing the exe path of lo locally exe path of that file which is an installer of another prerequisite i mean to say i need in my case i need uh, installer of dotnet framework version 4.7.2 locally so as of now if i go into my prerequisites there is a folder in the same folder microsoft.net and if i just go to this i need a exe here so i will just go into the dotnet to online and we'll download dot framework version 4.7.2 offline installer so basically i am just looking for the offline installer of 4.7.2 and here comes the details oh so basically this first option is for me i will first copy the link and in my install sheet it i will be just pasting the url to file now i will actually download the file the file is just will big i mean it is of 81 or 80 mb so it will take around 3 so 2 to 4 minutes so as of now you can see that time is 6 8 am it might take to 6 12 am so please wait for a while So basically this time uh, we are going to uh, set up a prerequisite for our window installer which is dot type paper version specific installer right now after this uh, demo i will be showing how i mean i will just give you a hint how we can configure the same thing for any installer of install sheet type so there is no issue I mean, I have done this. I need to just provide that name exe path different, and uh, that exe path exe could be of any type of installer, right? So that's the reason I am just uh, I'm just showing that some you as well. Let it double first. It is about to download first. So it has been downloaded. Now I will be just opening the file location and cutting this file and pasting this file into this folder inside the prerequisite right inside the prerequisite folder now i need complete path of this file so i will be just taking the complete file path from here 
and pasting it here okay I get more than one file here application to run so basically I was at my file I will be saying it uh, no 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 so come to this install sheet first basically I have created a few more uh, install sheet prerequisites so there are a few options also available which I could not configure myself so I'm just going to the prerequisite, prerequisite for this and the application runs yeah so specify the command line for the applications I will say for myself for my one I will say yes this one and it is saying market required okay it is saying write this command as well because this these commands are actually for the silent installation uh, right not interactive one now come to this behavior if I just come to the behavior of this one then I can see that I will be marking this one as a required privilege administrative privileges now continue and set up here I say that prompt and user to reboot the machine right you can select these things as per your need there is no any hard uh, rule now here I can add more than one PRQ as a link so ultimately saying uh, that PRQ which I have added would be installed first after that this PRQ will be installed and after that actual application installation will happen right now my prerequisite is av available I need to just verify it by opening in in, in notepad plus plus so what I will do I will be just going to this file files are available here and here I will be saying that I need to go to the top okay this is now this is my, my prerequisite which I have created now opening this here here I can see that I need to verify the file path first right so how will be I verifying the file path I will be going to this one and uh, going back to the file I will be just opening the in properties and will copy the file size pasting in the netpad and will format it right after formatting I will be just going to the install sheet oh no going to the notepad plus plus so i can see that the value is already correct sometimes it is not is it not right that's why i am just showing you how we can manually correct these things right now check some for checks from packet verification what we can do is that you need to download one exe from the web which is uh, w which is win md5 win md file is actually used to get the checksum of any exe or dl right i think this so this is the uh, exe which can be downloaded from the location is here now i have already installed this thing so i'm just showing you how can we do i do it open this and I here I need to refer that path of exe okay shift cortex menu copy as path file edited uh, checksum is being created by itself so this is the checksum file here if I just search for the checksum I'm just closing it if I just search for the checksum I will be getting correct right so the file is correct just closing it now I will be testing it so 
Uh, first of all, let me show you one more thing which I am I was saying. Uh, Four point seven point. Uh, I guess there is some issue. That's the reason I'm not getting the file here. Let me just refresh it. Wait a minute. Let me just check whether the file is available or not. Right. Okay. Wait a minute. Here the file must be available here. Yes, the file is available. And if I just go to the install sheet, redistributable, and just search. Ah, uh, oh, I think. The file is available here, but I am not able to. I don't know why. Let me just check it. Prerequisite files are available from the list of begins. Let me reopen this install. In Maybe because of this, I will be getting the correct information here. Okay. Yes, now after opening, come to the redistributable. Here, search for the 4.7.2. My version is available. I will, will be just marking it checked. Now, after this, I will be going to the properties. Here, I will be selecting the option build location and download from the web. Applying it. OK. Save and build. Now I will be just getting the installer, copying this. I'm not going to install this on my, my machine because my machine already has this Dr. Fever installed. So I am going to install this on a server machine. I will be just uh, placing it. Uh, wait a minute. I will be just placing it on a folder. So where is my folder? Folder is this. Oh, download desktop. My desktop. My file will be this. I have copied my file, right? Oh, wait a minute. Let me try once more. Okay. Let me trigger the installation first. As you can see, this is, I, as I can show you that this uh, machine does not have got a firmware version 4.0.2. That's why I will be getting invoked this version of my machine, right? So install. So you can see that it will basically download the file first. Downloading this file the size is uh, 80 MB, right? After download, it will extract that uh, install and it will start installing.
so basically it will start installing folder yeah so you can see that this is the dialog of dotted folders and installation right yes and i am just switching to the my machine in my machine if i try to install it then i will not be prompted to install the frameworks because my machine already has their frameworks that's why it is skipping it so as of now i have shown you both the scenarios like when it will trigger when it will not trigger right so you can see that the installation of actual feature has been started which is correct in my scenario only now close it and come back to your vm this is in the install in progress It is downloading and installing it. So it is asking for the restart, right? I am just going to yes. It will restart within a few seconds. I use this as of now wait for few seconds then I will start up again this application so till now let me show you what I was saying so as of now when we create the uh, install field prerequisite then we include the file here right so what you need to do is that whenever you are creating your install prerequisite for that, appli that application uh, which for which the installer is of installs it install it even even then you can just need to provide the exe file path of that installer here so there is no any such kind of difference between the installer of uh, installs it and window so you can provide any installer file path here right this is what I'm trying to say now let's try to restart the machine Now let's see what happens after this restart. So now you can see that uh, my machine has been restarted after that and uh, I guess 4.7.1 installation is done and now my installer is getting resumed and when it is resumed it is actually starting the install sheet flow for the installation of my virtual machine right my virtual software okay installation has been done now if I check then this is my application 
and the file type that is stream. And let's see. Okay, let's see now the value is for this variable for which is for here for a point seven point two, right? So it is done now. I will be just uh, checking my application as well. So this is my application. So this way we can configure the or we can create the new prerequisite, right? We can change prerequisites by using the prerequisite tab and the past tab, and also we can uh, create the prerequisite for an installed seed installer as well, right? So this is the way. Thank you guys for your support. Thanks.